Hi, I'm Jada. And I'm David. And we are here in Nashville at the Paul C. Buff Studio. We have been building some sets and then taking them on the road to a few cities across the U.S. So here it is. This is our space submarine set. We're going to finish lighting it and then we're going to do a couple shoots on it. Well, we call ourselves mixed media artists technically because we do set design and painting and kind of create these like we call them sets, but I guess that they could also be considered sculptures or installations. And then we do photo shoots inside of them. David kind of designs the sets. I pick the colors. He does the lighting. I do the shooting. I do the color editing. He does the Photoshop work. Like we, ha all the way through, it's a very collaborative process, but we each have our own, like, this is my job, that's your job. Everything you see behind me is handmade by us. Except for the carpet, which we got from Amazon, <laughs> and the wood. <laughs> <laughs> but I made the structure, yes. All right, for today's set, I wanted to play with light and shape and texture. So what we did was first started off with a shag carpet, then we went into the beautiful paneling. Down lighting is key to all of our sets. So I cut a hole in the ceiling, and we put a 14 by 60 strip box right above it. Um, on the side, I cut circles. And on each side, we have a 14 by 60 strip box. And on the back, we have a bare bulb uh, DigiB. And I use corrugated plastic, you can get at any hardware store, um, to put in each hole to help diffuse the light as it comes in. And for the front fill, we're using a 64 inch silver interior PLM. The link is always our main fill light for all of our shoots. Um, the modeling light on it is super bright, which is really important to us when we are kind of setting the stage for these scenes that we're creating. It's battery operated, so you can really move it and put it anywhere that you need, which is super helpful to us. We're gonna be doing four shoots while we're here, and each of the shoots is gonna have a different storyline and thought process behind it, so that all of the shoots feel a little bit different from each other. So, for this shoot, you, you're not a person, you're a feeling, okay? Oh, perfect. But you are like every bad feeling. You are depression, you are anxiety, you are just like deep sadness. There you go, and look right at me like, just please help me. Like, I don't want to be feeling like this. I don't want to be here. This is not working for me. We started out as wedding photographers together. And then during COVID, this project started. We had a lot of free time and we had just moved into a cool new studio. And so we started exploring portrait photography and studio lighting a lot more in that space. And then we started to wonder, what if we shot into the corner of a room or we started to build more structures? You, Abby, are the captain of this submarine. And then stuff is gonna start to go wrong, okay? okay. Like a leak's gonna spring and you're gonna be kind of like freaking out and then you're gonna realize, oh no, we were supposed to take a left back at that ocean back there. Oh no, tidal wave, a shark is out the window. It's coming towards me, oh my God. Be like, oh no, I need to push the up button! I didn't want people just to look pretty in the pictures. I didn't want it to be very flattering poses because we had done so much of that with our wedding and boudoir work. Abby, you crushed it! Wow. You did so good! You can, If you like look back through like the beginning work, you can really see the evolution of like that first shoot. Like it was super like mannequin. Like yeah. so many angles, very, very rigid and so much insecurity. Like so much. Are we doing this right? Does this look good? I don't know. But I think we were pretty blown away once we got it into Photoshop. The elevator like jolts. So like have a reaction in your body, okay? One, two, three, shift your weight. Oh, it's been a day. Oh, that's a good face. And the louder that I am and the more ridiculous that I am and the more that I'm talking, it gives them less time to like be inside their head. Now you are just aggressively yelling at this person. Why are you doing this? Are you kidding? I love that one. That's great. Go bigger with the yell all the way through. Ah! <laughs> this is this is what's happening right now. It was like a pretty cool evolution to watch. Like as soon as Jada started being the character behind the camera and making the voices and saying, oh my God, do this, do this, do this, you know, then the model started to like break loose and follow along with her and it completely changed how the photos were being taken. Most fun photo shoot ever. 
So for our last shoot, we decided to change up the lights to give it a little bit more of a moody effect. So we added in some orange gels um, onto the strip boxes and then we are using the optical snoot for the first time. And we're kind of documenting you quickly across like a five year span, okay? Okay. So the first beginning of the shoot, you just got down there and you're like, yes. Okay, I cool. I can do this, I am I'm ready calm. for my submarine journey. Then it passes that point completely and you slowly just start to go nuts. I wanted to to show more about the human experience with the work. A lot of our sets are about being trapped or stuck. It's always in a cube, always in a room, and that's how we kind of both feel. So I think we're both working through our emotions and our feelings with this art. I think a lot of times people are always stuck on like what's next instead of really talking about like what you achieved. Maybe talking about the work, how it makes them feel versus saying, oh, that's cool. What are you gonna do with that or whatever? I wish it was more of like, this makes me feel this way. Is that what you were feeling? Or Look, okay, now you're pretending. Uh -huh. You're like, oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> You're like, you're playing puppet show with yourself. Okay, and now you're a fly. You're a fly. Pigeon! Pigeon! <laughs> Thanks for like doing that. That was a, that was a weird one. <laughs> wow. I'm tired now. <laughs> to anybody who feels stuck creatively or just like isn't sure what they want to do, just start doing something. Like even if it's not the best idea or even if the first few times you do it you're not achieving what you want if you just like keep sticking with it and like trusting your gut you can make some things that you'll feel really proud of that was good jada thank yeah. you david. um you can find us on instagram at jada and david at pinterest jada and david youtube twitter all the things at jada and david and then, also jada and david dot com. Com. Yep. Jade and David everything. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe for more content. Is that good? Yep. Cool. Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs>